There are many sushi choices in Austin, but none like Kenichi. Why is that? We're gonna show you. Well, I think you can expect kind of a number of things when you come to Kenichi to dine. We're known for, you know, being on Austin, kind of nightlife scene, um, especially on the weekends, but we're also really known for having really serious cuisine. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of energy when you walk in the door, but we're going to have a really knowledgeable staff. They're going to walk you through kind of our menu. They're going to get you in a nice bottle of champagne, nice bottle of sake, kind of show, tell them what we're a little bit different here um, as opposed to other sushi restaurants or other restaurants kind of in the neighborhood. So you're from the, whether you stop at the bar to get a cocktail, you're going to just have a lot of fun and then you're going to enjoy a delicious cuisine all the way through. What we have here is the sushi chef's sashimi plate that he's prepared especially for us. So I'm just going to try a couple of these different items. Mm. Excellent. So everyone knows that Kenichi has great sushi. Tell us about your cook menu. Well, the cook menu is quite extensive as well. Um, like the, like the signs of the, as you see on the side of the highway of the, of the little restaurants that have you know fine food, cocktails and seafood and chops and steaks. We have pretty much all of that. You know we have extent, you know we have duck, we have lamb, we have beef. You know, we actually sell and serve quite a bit of this Akiyushi brand beef, which is a heart brand beef from Yokum, Texas. Uh, we do that in multiple preparations. We have a like a whole strip loin that we serve seared and to temperature like you would order another any other steak. We also have a rare preparation or a raw preparation where you cook it yourself. Uh, that's one of our most popular. It's seared on the hot rock. Put the butter on the rock a little bit. Should stay. That one's a little hot. A little seasoning. You just kind of want to cook it. You just really, I mean, it's good enough beef to eat raw. Yeah, the, the butter gets a little hot. Everything is pretty much chopstick friendly. We make it so people can share it. So I'm not, you don't have to have one of these steaks as your, you know, your entire meal. It's made so we can put it at the table and everyone can share it. He also really uses a lot of local ingredients, so everything is very seasonal. So our menu is a lot smaller than it used to be in the past and it changes very frequently. It's something that a lot of places um, don't do or what we used to not do as much and so we really use just all the local produce and and you know what's really good and and fresh out in you know the culinary world